What's up, everybody? I'm James, and my old trusty passport and my new trusty DTEC 50. Uh, today, I'm just going to cover a couple of things that I miss with this phone uh, that I don't get with this phone, and I'm going to cover things that I love about this phone that I did not get with this phone. So, just to start off, as you can tell, I mean, it's pretty much common sense. Size-wise, the DTEC is not as wide, it's slightly a little bit longer, where the Passport has that big screen. So, here's one thing that I do miss about the Passport, is that big screen. Now, part of the reason why is because, at least with the emails, I could, you know, keep in keep track of everything that was going on, but especially when I was doing my quotes, because we use an online system, so it made the screen a bit wider, which means I could see more of the... Uh, platform. Uh, honestly though, with the DTEC 50, it's not that much of a difference for what I can and cannot see, and uh, it literally has not affected the amount of time that it takes me to do my quotes. But that's also because I've got the site pretty much memorized, and I know where everything is, so I don't really need to look as much. Where when I first started, for when I had the passport, I did need to look, and I did need to be able to do it quick, and this really did help me with that. The uh, thing I do miss is a physical keyboard. Uh, I do still use my passport in Olan C, but I have it connected to my personal email and my work email uh, still, but no SIM card, so I only run it through Wi-Fi. Now, I have all of that on here, and I do use this as my daily driver, but there are some times where I, well, I know exactly what that alerts for. Um, I don't want to talk to people. I just want to be left alone, so in order to keep monitoring what's going on and also keeping a tab on what my clients are sending me back and forth is I'll still use this and sometimes I just still like typing on this. Now for the typing on the DTEC 15 in all honesty, uh, as I said in my previous video, uh, which was a little kind of scattered because I was very rushed, I had stuff to do. Uh, I actually do have stuff to do uh, again today, but I wanted to try to bump out a more descriptive video. Uh, so. The typing on this is actually really good. It's very fluid. Uh, it catches everything. Uh, I am doing one thing where instead of hitting the space bar, I'm hitting the B button, but that's my fault because I'm not looking, and that's typically when it does that. I used to have the same type of issue with the space tab here because sometimes I would hit B because just where my placement is with the fingers. Uh, I actually did get to a point where I was able to type without looking on this where I'm not there yet with the DTEC. But again, I've only had it for a little bit and yeah, okay. So another thing that I miss about my passport is when I used to watch YouTube as an example, or I wanted to listen to something on YouTube, like whether it be a seminar or a podcast that got re-recorded and then put onto YouTube, is that I used to be able to just go up on the screen and it would run in the background and I could actually lock the phone and it would keep playing through the headphones or playing through my Bluetooth in the SUV. Where, unless I'm doing something wrong here, with the DTEC 50, it won't do that. So when I'm in the YouTube app, if I hit the back button or even just minimize the app or lock the phone, I was hoping that it would keep playing after I locked the phone, but no, it actually shuts it down, which kind of sucks because of the fact that it keeps the screen on, and I don't want to do that because they're, you know, it's, the streaming media runs the phone. Uh, the thing that I don't miss about this is the fact that my issue with the Netflix um, that Bart helped me put on here, it was, as I said before, it was cutting off the screen where on here it runs flawlessly. So that's a nice feature to have, and I have been using it a little bit more. Uh, I did mention that I had some issues getting some of my emails set up on here, but then I got it figured out after feeling like an idiot, and now everything's running nice and smooth. I've got the phone all set up exactly pretty much how I had my passport. I've got certain folders. Whoops. I've got certain folders for everything that I have, so I've got my work folder, I've got my social folder, and yeah, I'm just, honestly, I am loving this phone so far. Uh, I do have to say to anybody that uses BB10, if you are thinking of jumping platforms, even if it's just to have some access to proper apps, uh, definitely go with this. If the Priv is running pretty much the same thing, go with the Priv if you still want the physical keyboard. I know that they do have another phone coming out soon. Who knows what that's going to look like, but so far I'm very impressed with the job BlackBerry did with this. Um, it's just runs fantastic. It's constantly doing updates every once in a blue moon, which I don't mind because it's part of the, what they said they would be doing, but um, one thing I am trying to find on here is a virtual assistant. Like with this, I used to actually just hold down the button sometimes and I'd just be like, okay, please set uh, appointment for blah, blah, blah time, right? 
and then it would put it in my calendar. Uh, and one other thing I wanted to touch base on with the calendars, where this, it, I don't know if I'm not finding it, or I should probably read a little bit up on this phone because I don't have time to do that. Like, I probably what I should be doing instead of making this video, to be honest. Um, I thought that this part up here was a virtual assistant. So I was kind of sitting here, I'm like, okay, well, maybe it can make an appointment for me, but I just wanted to test out how it works. So, why is Kim Kardashian famous? As an example. According to Wikipedia, Kardashian first gained media attention as a friend and stylist of Paris Hilton, who okay. received wider notice after a 2003 sex tape with her former boyfriend Ray J was leaked in 2007. I did not know I was going to say that. All right. Uh, so that's kind of a cool feature that it actually will read out something for you. So it gives you a bit of, bit of a brief summary. Um, I don't know if other phones have this feature because I haven't used any in a while. But uh, that's one thing the Passport wouldn't do, <laughs> even with embarrassing information like that. Uh, the other thing I was kind of hoping for, set appointment for October 30th. At what time? 10 a.m. What's the title? Post new video on YouTube. Okay. Do you want to save this? Yes. Okay. Event created. Okay, that that's cool. Okay, so I did do it. The only thing that I'm noticing those because I set up my work email first is actually putting that into my work email calendar, which I do not want in there. I don't know, put it through my Google. Okay, cool. All right, so maybe that is what I'm supposed to be using. I'm not too sure. Uh, like I said, I just started testing that out now. Uh, one thing I don't miss about the Passport is the weight difference. Honestly, uh, when I first pulled this out of the box, I did mention this in my other video, is it is so light. Like, this phone is so light, right, where the Passport has... You know, it's, it's a solid phone. It is a solid-built phone. It's not overly heavy, but it's got a bit of weight to it, just mainly because of the size of the phone. But this this phone was a workhorse in all honesty. When I use this as my daily driver, I like would get through the entire day. Now, granted, the battery life on this is not as good as the Passport, especially because I'm a heavy power user, but it's holding up pretty good. Uh, I do have to charge it, but I'm normally only doing that when I'm driving, so it's not really affecting me uh, when I need to use the phone, because I never use my phone when I'm driving unless it's answering a phone call over Bluetooth. Uh, and that's another thing, don't be one of those idiots on the road that's like texting and then randomly looking while you're going like 80 down a highway. What the fuck is wrong with you? But yeah, aside from that, um, the cameras, oh my god, the front facing camera on the Passport honestly was not really that good, it was very grainy a lot of the time, where the front facing camera on the DTEC is amazing. I filmed some videos of my wife and I out and uh, yeah, it was fantastic even I've even with the videos that I filmed here were even better but the camera quality on the back is amazing so that is another bonus if you're somebody like a friend of mine who I was showing them the DTEC 50 here because they got themselves an iPhone and like wow the can't that camera is impressive and I was like no oh. and you know how much this phone was when I told them they kind of felt embarrassed because if you really think about it you've got all the features in here and expandable memory so, like, I paid, I think, maybe five-something Canadian to have this express rush to me, which is going to be the next video uh, about that experience. Uh, but uh, And then an expandable memory, even, like, a large, massive uh, SD card is, is still cheaper and better quality phone. So, yeah, that's... You know what? I'm not regretting this. I thought I was going to regret this. I thought I was going to end up wasting my money and then going back to my passport. But nope. I am loving this phone. I really, really am enjoying all the features. Like, I really do enjoy being able to have the actual Facebook app and the actual Twitter app and everything. And it's just coming in really handy. Another bonus that kind of makes up for the YouTube video thing. Oh, and by the way, if you do know how to fix that situation, please leave me a comment down below so that way I can start using YouTube, going through my Bluetooth again, but not having to have it on the screen. But the one thing I am enjoying is this right, what am I doing here? Right there, the play music. It's got uh, Google Music where it has these streaming radio stations, and in all honesty, it is so much better than what's normally on the radio, which is just mainly a lot of garbage, 
or just the same songs over and over again. So I've been really, really using that a lot, and I'm really enjoying it. Like, it's, I gotta say, I'm really impressed with how well they did with this phone. So, unfortunately, I am running out of time. As I said before, I do have to go. I am going to be making another video about the issue that I had with a certain shipping company with trying to get this. And, yeah, I do have to say, I do miss a passport. Still do. Uh, the call quality earphone, earpiece-wise, not earpiece-wise, but, like, holding it up, I, I miss... I still miss having that, but at the same time, like, it's a little easier on my hand just to go like this, and so much lighter. And, yeah. Alright, so, if there's anything you'd like me to cover on the differences between the DTEK50 and the Passport, leave me a comment down below. Hope you enjoyed the video, and be safe out there.